In traditional Western biomedicine, what runs at large measure is really knowledge of the human body, human conditions, diseases, uh, illnesses. We're focused on a, on a health system that's focused on illness, not on health. Recently, scientists um, have discovered the whole world of obesinogens. Obesinogens are toxins. They can be toxins, they can be nutritional uh, toxins as well in processed foods and so on. Um, or they can be toxins in the environment that attack or uh, uh, attach themselves to fat cells. And then the body doesn't know how to deal with them because it's, it's alien to the body. And so obesogens are something new. Well, how do you deal with individuals who have a toxic environment? And we live in a toxic environment, you build a new home. You build a new home. And there's at least a hundred different types of toxins that are going to come out of that home. And you're going to be living in it. Not knowing what's happening to yourself as a human being living in that home. And so the reaction on the part of the medical profession is to say, well, that's not part of what we, we learn. This is not part of what they teach you. But it's a very real part of people's lives today. The understanding that we have of medicine today is still stuck in Newtonian age where you have a symptom and you treat the symptom. But you don't treat the whole individual. And if you stop for a moment to treat the entire individual, you would understand what quantum physics is all about. Because you may have symptoms A, B, C, and D, but you're only treating A. If you could treat B, C, and D, or maybe just D, you can get rid of A. For me, that resonates in the same way that being a yoga teacher resonates, because that's what you're doing with people. You're treating all those things. And yet, in the society that we live in today, medical profession doesn't deal that way with individuals. They only deal with the symptom, not the cause. Like, that's what's most frightening about, you know, the 21st century, that they haven't made that leap. <laughs>